Welcome to the Lake Fun News. Today's story is about the fundamental guidelines to stand up paddling, brought to you by V. Binga and Tim Ganley, two of Lake Fun's signature athletes who have some of the best guides on paddle boarding and sub yoga on the market today. A couple of years ago, they wrote a blog post about the 10 most important guidelines to paddle by. It's not surprising that everyone still uses these same guidelines today. Whether you're heading out to paddle by yourself, with a friend, or taking a group on the water, it's important to adhere to the following principles. Always leave a float plan with someone you trust. The float plan includes how long you're going to be out and where you're going. The number of paddle boards and the colors of the boards as well. Uh, your car's color, the make, the license plate number, where you're going to be launching from, the route you'll be taking to the destination site, and what time you're going to be back. What the trusted people should do if they have not heard from you for a certain time, such as contacting the Coast Guard, law enforcement, or fire and rescue. The phone numbers of those agencies to contact in case of an emergency so that no time would be wasted if needed. Optical information such as medical concerns of the individuals on your paddling trip, their paddling abilities, the description of group members, and how well you are prepared in terms of rescue and shelter gear plus the number of people in your group. Whenever you go out, you also want to dress for immersion, getting wet. So wear a swimsuit, to wear a life jacket, and you want to always wear your leash. Uh, you don't want to go out in blue jeans and a heavy hoodie because you fall in the water, that's going to weigh you down, make you colder. You want to check the weather forecast and the tide predictions before you launch. And then you want to use the appropriate gear for the conditions and keep the safety gear accessible. Then know your skills and paddle within your limits. Then you also want to practice your rescue drills regularly and expand on your repertoire. So make sure that you're up to date on all of them and that you can use them. Then don't paddle in water that's rougher than the water you've trained in. So the, the time you're going out with the group is not time to um, you know test your skills or test the, the white water rapids. Go ahead and uh, you know keep it simple and that'll make your paddle boarding trip a lot easier. And then don't become a victim yourself. Let's say that um, if, if someone else becomes a victim, make sure that you assess the situation before charging into a bad location and getting hurt like your paddling buddy did, just did. Don't make a bad situation worse. Anything else that you can think of, uh, we'd love to hear it from you. You can email it to us at lakesafety at lakefun.com. Thanks again for watching the Lake Fun News. We'll be right back with your Lake Levelology.
welcome to your lake levelology report for the day. Today we want to talk about the lakes that are the highest above full pool. We've got Belton Lake in Texas at 1.1 above full pool, scheduled to go down 1.1 feet. We've got Wren Lake in Illinois, 1.11 above full pool, scheduled to go up 0.9 feet. Demopolis Lake in Alabama, 1 feet above full pool, scheduled to go down negative 1.9 feet. We've got Monroe Lake in Indiana, 0.95 feet above full pool, scheduled to go down 2 feet. Clearwater Lake, 0.92 feet above full pool, scheduled to go down negative 0.8 feet. The lowest lakes above full pool, we've got Alamo Lake in Arizona at 46.45 feet below full pool, scheduled to go up a full 2 feet today. Twin Buttes Lake in Texas, negative 38.44 feet below full pool, scheduled to go down negative 0.7 feet. Douglas Lake in Tennessee, negative 35.56 below full pool, scheduled to go up 1.8 feet today. OHV Lake in Texas, negative 33.87 feet below full pool, scheduled to go down 0.7 feet. Then we've got Walker Lake in Nevada, negative 33.51 feet below full pool, scheduled to go up 0.5 feet today. Finally, we've got your Lake Levelology Plus moves for the day. Taylorsville Lake in Kentucky, scheduled to go up a full 2 feet to settle at 549.92 feet tomorrow. Cypress Lake in Louisiana, scheduled to go up 1.97 feet to 181.57 feet tomorrow. Mexia Lake in Texas scheduled to go up 1.87 feet to settle at 449.34 feet tomorrow. Allen Henry Lake in Texas scheduled to go up 1.763 feet today to settle at 2220.26. And then Alamo Lake in Arizona scheduled to go up 1.6537 feet to settle at 1084.55 tomorrow. Our Lake Levelology largest minus moves for the day, Monroe Lake in Indiana, scheduled to go down 1.97 feet to settle at 536.595. Red Bluff Lake in Texas, scheduled to go down 1.87 feet to settle at 2,082.72 feet. Bonham Lake in Texas, scheduled to go down 1.78 feet to settle at 560.15. Watauga Lake in Tennessee, scheduled to go down 1.65 feet to settle at 194.62. And O.C. Fisher Lake in Texas, scheduled to go down 1.63 feet to settle at 187, 1,872.67. Thank you for watching the Lake Fun Lake Levelology Report. We'll be right back with your Lake Fun Specialty Segment.